Hello, I'm working on a songwriting video and I keep finding super cool things about Reaper that I had no idea of. And one of them is this thing. Let me show you. So I'm working on a song right now, um, just using my MIDI guitars, MIDI bass, MIDI drums. I work faster with this. It's usually what I do when I do pre-production stuff. So I got this section in here. And this. Yeah, very original. <laughs> okay, so the thing I wanted to show you. So if you go to the actions menu, um, I think I have it mapped to control B. Yeah, it's this thing called paste item tracks, creating pull goes media items and automation. It's just a long name. But the thing is like, you can map this to a shortcut. I have it to a control B on Mac. And whenever you copy and run this action, it's gonna create basically uh, Pool ghost, that's what's it called. It works like this. Let's open this in inline mode. You press E to open it. If I change one of these notes, let's say I move this note up in here, just to give you an idea, you'll see it reflected in here. So that makes it super cool um, for when I'm doing basically the bass is just following whatever's doing the guitar. But you can, of course, use this for so many other use cases. This is just what I'm using right now. For example, if I want to change these notes, maybe I want these two to be octaves and then these two to be um, maybe like that. Cool, that, that just works. The bass is following the guitar always and it also follows the velocities and all that stuff. So if your bass MIDI stuff follows your guitar well, that should work nicely. 